Hey guys, welcome back to the channel this week. It is currently the 7th of July and it's almost noon here. And uh, I just wanted to pop in with a quick um, thank you for all the new people that are stopping by the channel. And I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Karina, also known as the Artistic Newfie here on YouTube and other social media platforms. I haven't really done an introduction for a while and I thought that it was probably worthwhile to get one done. Um, I work with resin, I do studio vlogs, I like to vlog about my daily life sometimes. Um, I make stickers, other illustrations, and usually some watercolor and or acrylic and Copic illustrations slash paintings. <laughs> It's, it's a mix up of what I do when I start working on a project. So if you're interested in all that stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around for more videos. Um, I did do a little bit of vlogging over the weekend. It didn't turn out the greatest. There was a couple of clips that I can add in, so I'll do that now. All right guys, so in today's video, first thing that we're gonna do is try out this paper right here. There goes the chair. This is a glitter sticker sheet. Um, they're white from Silhouette. I do not have a silhouette, I have a Cricut, uh, but I bought these because I'm gonna cut it by hand. Um, they do have the weird corners, and if you read the back of the paper, or the back of the book, or pamphlet, package, whatever it is, um, <laughs> it'll tell you that uh, it's made that way for a reason. Um, so yeah, um, it doesn't pertain to me because I don't need that, but we're gonna print the um, Patreon June stickers on here, hoping that they turn out good, and if they do, then add Ashley will be getting uh, a glitter stickers uh, instead of just regular vinyl sheets. But I do have a vinyl sheet there as well in case it doesn't work out. But let's go give it a go and see what happens. And I'll show you guys the result of this paper once I get something printed on it. All right, guys, are you ready to see the results of this sparkly paper? I am so impressed. It does work better with digital which is completely fine because that's what I'm going to do from now on. But it's so much better than the hollow paper. Are you ready? Look at this. The traditional work is still a little bit faded. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give my patron um, a copy of the glitter stickers and a copy of the um, vinyl stickers this month. And the butterfly at the top is the exclusive sticker for Patreon for June. I know you guys are watching this in July, but I was a little bit slow this month. And but look at this paper. It is really nice. Highly recommend it. Um, I'm going to go cut these out and uh, get them all packaged up. So here is the comparison to just regular vinyl and the glitter sticker paper. Um, the glitter paper is clearly a little bit um, less um, vibrant than the other paper, but I still think it looks really nice. These are going to look a little bit different because it's the um, traditional pieces. So those are kind of neat. So that's the vinyl and the glitter paper. And same thing with these. You can see the difference in the print quality compared to just a regular vinyl. And this is the bat. I'm actually surprised the bat turned out much better than I thought. This is the way it's actually supposed to be. It's supposed to be upside down like this. And uh, I thought this was the one I was going to hate the most, but I really, I really like the bat. So that's uh, the stickers that went out or that's going to go out for uh, July and or June, sorry. And now I'm going to stop talking about Patreon and get on with some other stuff in this vlog. But um, I highly recommend the glitter paper over the holographic paper if you're into that kind of thing. Um, it cuts nicer. It's not as thick. Um, and I just, I feel like it might be a little bit better quality than the holographic. Although the holographic stuff is still very nice. I think I prefer the glitter paper over the holographic stuff. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, let me know what you prefer better compared to all the, the sticker papers that I've gone through in the past uh, week to show you guys the vinyl, the glitter, and the holographic. Let me know which one you like the best. If you haven't seen the holographic one, um, I'll give a little quick view of it here. This is a holographic paper right here. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. The lack of energy that was in my previous studio vlog kind of went over into the weekend 
and um, it was just a very dull, mentally exhausting week, I guess, for me last week. And I think um, whatever was going on with me personally, um, I couldn't get that enthusiasm to get anything recorded. And I feel like I'm having that a little bit today, too. I have some brain fog um, going on and it's hard for me to comprehend what I'm doing at certain points in time. I don't know if I'm coming down with something. I could be coming down with cold, but most likely it's just allergies and everything getting in the way and lack of sleep. So please bear with me. Uh, if you haven't seen last, uh, last week's video that was posted, I think it was a Friday, go back and give it a once over and see if there's anything there that pertains to you. I did do a review on some holographic paper, a uh, printable sticker paper from Silhouette. So uh, that's in the previous, um, the previous video along with, um, I gave kind of like a little demonstration on how I paint my crystals with watercolors. So if you're interested in that and you have missed it, head back and take a look. Um, yesterday I, I was recording just a smidgen and I do have a couple clips of me cutting out these stickers. All right guys, today I'm continuing on with making some sticker packs. So we are doing these mushroom sticker packs uh, today. I was gonna put them in, um, in the shop uh, as little mini sticker sheets, but I think sticker packs are gonna look nicer. So I have those coming out of the printer down here. The floor is a mess. I haven't swept it yet today. Um, in the process of getting up to do that right now, and I have to go and transfer the files for these uh, over to the um, my iCloud thing <laughs> so I can get some of these printed. Uh, I am going to sit down um, in a bit and paint a couple of crystals to go in the sticker pack. So it'll be this one, this one, the frog, and two traditionally painted crystals as well. Um, that's going to go in for a sticker pack for those. I'm I have one of these printed off so far. I'm going to put this in my shop. Um, these are going to be custom orders, so I'm not going to print these out until someone actually wants them. See, these bottom ones printed out perfect. So the black caps there and these pink ones down here are okay. These aren't too terrible. They're supposed to be a lot more vibrant than what they are. Um, and these top ones up here that turned out peach, which again is still okay, um, should have been more to the color of the tip on this mushroom down here. Um, that's what color those up there should have been. But like I said, they are still okay. I am going to print off another copy now, seeing that it is printing better. And uh, I do have another sheet in there. So let's go and see what happens to the next All right, one. Guys, so the second page printed off a little bit uh, more vibrant. Um, I'm also getting those other ones over there ready as well. I'm cutting this all out by hand. Um, so if you get the stickers and you notice they're not perfectly cut out completely around, it's because I have to, uh, like I had mentioned, I don't trust the Cricut to cut out this expensive paper. It's horrible because I paid over $300 for that printer and I can't trust it to do this. Um, so I'm going to continue to get back to work and uh, try to get these sticker packs made. is um, I do have five extra packs of mushroom stickers and what I want to uh, throw out there is that the next five people who place an order in my Etsy shop um, will each get a pack of stickers um, added in as like a little bonus. Um, once those five packs of stickers are gone though um, I won't be giving away any more. They will be available in my shop as of Friday, um, but they will be available for purchase along with the with these little um, creatures that I did, the otter, the bat, and the frog with the uh, with the gems, the stones, I guess, and also my voodoo priestess and the creature of the 
Forest, I think I called it. Um, but the, the original painting for this one is, is sold um, and it went to a great home. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of new stickers that's going to be updated on the shop on Friday. Um, it may be the only update to my Etsy store while I'm working for the next eight weeks. Um, if I do have some free time, I'll add in something here and there. But this is probably going to be the last big update until um, maybe the end of August or so. Um, so we'll see how that goes anyway. So I decided my little mushrooms and everything that uh, I did print them out on little sticker sheets like this. And um, I thought they were kind of cute, but I was thinking that maybe people would like to have them in a sticker pack rather than a sticker sheet. So that's why I went ahead and, and did that. Um, I could do kiss cut stickers as well. Let me know you guys, when you're going out to buy stickers off of Etsy, or even if you're going to a store to buy stickers, what do you look for? Do you look for die cut stickers? Do you look for sticker sheets? Or it doesn't really matter unless they're cute. Um, let me know what you think about different kinds of stickers and what you would prefer to buy. Um, I like the sticker packs because you get the you know, little packaging and it just looks really nice. And all the little stickers are, um, let's see. All the little stickers are like all cut out for you and they have like a nice little backing card and, and things like that. Um, that's what I like about sticker packs. Um, and I have done sticker packs before. I've done my Alice in Wonderland ones and I have um, my witchy sticker pack. That was the last two that I did. Unfortunately, they didn't seem to be that popular online. But when I went to Gander Geek Fest last year in Gander, um, I think it was last year? pretty sure. Uh, yeah, they were, they were pretty popular there and I sold a lot of stickers. So, um, it just be, it'd be nice if my, my Etsy account had a little bit more exposure. So we're going to work on that. And, um, but yeah, the first, um, five people that go over to Etsy and decide that they want to purchase something over there, there's no, um, no, amount that you need to spend. Just if you go over and you see something you like and you get it, then you'll get an extra pack of the, um, the, I call them shrooms, um, uh, the shroom sticker pack. So, um, that'll be added in on your order if you decide to go over there. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting out these stickers. And I'm also working on the, um, 90s themed stickers for this month for Patreon. So I'll, I have, Four done so far. I'm also thinking about taking the mini sticker sheet away from Patreon because um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like my stickers always have too much detail for those little tiny sticker sheets. And then I'm thinking that if I make the stickers look a little bit more cartoony, maybe people aren't going to like them as much. Um, but the whole idea behind the mini, the mini sticker sheets for Patreon was for me to create the sticker sheet and they would go as minis to them. And then I could take those stickers, transfer them to like a bigger project and cut them out as individuals and make, um, <clears throat> and make sticker packs like I had wanted to, wanted to do, like what I'm doing with the mushrooms. Um, but I'm not sure if it's such a great idea or not. And I'm kind of mulling things over in my brain thinking, you know, am I doing the right thing with Patreon? Like, should I leave the stickers alone? Should I continue making the sticker sheets? There's just so much going on in my brain. And I think I'm just overwhelming myself with everything that could go wrong, could go right, things I need to change, things I don't need to change. And it's just like a mad mess. And then starting a new job next week, kind of new, I guess I was working in the same place last year. Um, there's just a lot going on. Um, let's get into more things in the vlog. I'm sure you guys don't want to listen to me sitting here uh, just chatting about this and that. So I'm going to finish cutting out these stickers over here. And, and then um, we're going to work on the other illustrations to finish that up for the month of July. And then hopefully we'll start working on August Patreon stuff. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. She comes out here all the time and rolls around in the grass like this. What are you doing? <laughs> Silly dog. She's out there grunting away. I don't know if you guys can hear her or not. <laughs> Silly dog.
my god guys how cute is this little package of stickers i think they are super cute i really like the way the packaging and everything looks as well it's clean it's simple it doesn't use a lot of ink so that means that i can print a lot more um, with the ink that i have um, it's just it's really nice and clean and simple and i think I think I might want to go this way with my stickers going forward, just making like little simple sticker packs like this. Of course, I want to get the Cricut up and running the proper way, but um, this all needed to be done. I want to get this done because Friday is that shop launch. So um, I'm packaging up these for that purpose and I just wanted to get it done but they are super super cute and like I said I think this might be the way to go with my packs of stickers um not humongous stickers uh and just a few more in a pack so there's five stickers in this pack um and um you, you can see the price over on Etsy on uh, on Friday when they go live um but I won't get into that today um but these right here I'm going to have to sell these just slightly, a little bit more, because they are quite a bit bigger than the mushroom stickers here. But what I think I might do even going forward is to make all my stickers a smaller size, because the die cut stickers on my shop haven't really been doing it very well either. So I'm wondering if it's the way that I'm making my stickers, or I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's really frustrating. Um, as you can see, some of the stickers here, these have our different colored caps than these. So these up here, these up here, they, they actually printed properly. Um, these down here, they have a little bit less vibrancy to them, but they still look great all the same. So these are the ones down here that I'm going to be giving out to the first five people that make a purchase over on my Etsy shop um, after the shop launch on Friday. And the rest, um, the more vibrant colored ones will be for sale um, on the shop as well. So I thought it would be really nice. But these down here, like, even though this is a little bit of a lighter color compared to this one over here it still looks really nice it still looks like a mushroom and um i think they all printed out really nice even though these up here are a little bit more vibrant they're still great they still look nice they're still going to serve the same purpose and uh five of them are going to be free so um yeah make sure you check that out so I've gone and done the exact same thing with these crystal animals uh, like I did with the mushrooms. So I have three of these made um, once they sell. I'll make some more. I'm going to put them up on the Etsy shop as made to order. The same thing with the magical um, shrooms as well. So I really like this idea. So going forward, this is how I'm going to be packaging my stickers. And uh, this is how I'm going to be um, presenting them each. I'd like to say each month. I'd like to have three new sticker designs a week that might be a little bit ambitious with me working a full-time job over the summer I don't know how that's gonna go but we're gonna aim for it if not um maybe what I can do I, th I thought that I these are the sticker sheets like I had mentioned that I was doing for patreon like I've used some of these stickers but I I don't know if it's the print quality or what have you, but I'm really not happy with the sticker sheets um, itself. I think I really need to um, get some better quality paper because this is on like printer paper, um, but it's just got a sticky backing. And I think I need something a little bit better. So I think I may keep this paper for making like my um, little logos and things that I stick on envelopes and, and what have you and go with um, vinyl for all of my stickers. It's going to be a little bit more expensive for me bringing in the stuff to actually make it with, but look how much nicer this looks compared to those dull stickers over there. So I really do think that going forward, this is how I'm going to um, do my stickers. Hopefully, um, Next month's gonna be really cute. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to see the stickers that I have made for um, for the month of, uh, what is the month? It's July, it's July. Anyway, that's what I have done. I have three of those made. I have five of these to go up on the store. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of stuff over right here that needs to be done by tomorrow. And uh, they all need pictures taken of them so I can get them all put up. But um, And I have these stickers right here ready to go as well. Again, like I said, all my stickers are going to be made to order. I'm not going to print off a whole bunch just in case they don't sell. But I do have the five set aside over here for the first five people um, who place an order over the next little bit. And then I have these.
you guys, just wanted to give you a little view of where it is I'm going to be working. This is the deck of the center, uh, the information center where I'm going to be working at. Um, pretty good view. Right here is where we had our wedding ceremony. So this is where we got married last year uh, in July. Um, well, there's a walking trail and everything over there. And then people can come here and fish. And yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a view of what my... Uh, what it looks like out the window when I'm, when I'm working. I just got home from work and I thought I would show you what I'm eating. Um, I don't normally show this stuff on uh, on my channel. These are stuffed squid. These are locally caught squid that um, my parents fried up. They're stuffed with breadcrumbs, onions, and our uh, traditional Newfoundland savory that's made here on the island. Um, I don't think, unless you've been in Canada, if you've ever had the savory or not, but it tastes really good. Some people don't like stuffed squid. Other people like to fry it up in rings. And there's plenty of ways to, that people make it here on the island, but this is my favorite one right here. And uh, I'm gonna snack on these before I do anything else now that I'm home. I also got a delivery today. I got the 2020-2021 uh, Sarah's Scribbles uh, agenda, I guess is what you want to call it. Um, I'm not gonna let you guys see every page because there's like little artwork and stuff on there, but I have this one over here and it's just, uh, the next year. I really enjoyed the, um, the book. The only thing is I don't use this, my social life. I don't use stuff to do or appointments, miscellaneous. I just, I tend to write everything on this right here and this just seems to go to waste for me but I really like the artwork and I really like how the book was put together the last one that I got so I ended up pre-ordering this one and it came in today. Hey guys so I've moved my crappy computer out to the living room because Jeremy's going to be using his computer tonight um, most likely and I am getting all of these pictures ready hopefully they work out okay to go up on Etsy for the shop launch which is tomorrow July 10th which is also my dad's birthday um, and um, I, I've i lost about 20 hours the past two days of being able to get this stuff done because I had to go to work a little bit earlier than I expected. So now I'm going to take the rest of my evening to get all of this done so it can get put up for tomorrow. The launch will hopefully be um, 3 p.m. Newfoundland Standard Time. So um, you can go to whatever it is you need to, to work that out. Um, but it'll be tomorrow afternoon, July 10th, store launch. There's going to be necklaces, stickers, uh, keychains, all that fun stuff. I'm going to go and get this done. I just want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of all over the place again. Um, hit the like uh, button. Hit the thumbs up. I've, I've lost my mind today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'm going to go continue with this. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you're staying safe. hope you're staying healthy. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye for now.